Hi there, in this video I'm going to do a revision question on vectors. So let's take a look at this question. Question number four. Find the area of the triangle ABC where the coordinates of ABC are minus one, two, one, two, three, zero, and three, four, minus two, respectively. So let's see how this is done. Let's go back to the paper and pen. Now, in order to work out the area of the triangle, and if you're given the vectors OA, OB, and OC, the formula to calculate the area of the triangle is half the modulus, or the magnitude, of AB cross AC. So this is the formula that we need to use in order to do this question. So let's work out the vectors AB and AC. So going back to the screenshot, so we have A, B and C in coordinate form. A is written as minus one, two, one as a point. Going back to the paper and pen, that means that the vector OA is minus I plus two J plus K. So we had A as a point minus one, two and one but you can write that as the vector OA in IJK form, or you could equally write it as a column vector, whatever you prefer. Going back to the screenshot again, we have the coordinate of B. B is given as 2, 3, 0. Let's write that as the vector OB. So back to the paper and pen. So B, B as a coordinate, 2, 3 and 0. So as a vector, vector OB will be 2i plus 3j and I have no k component so let me leave that as it is and going back to the screenshot again what about c c in coordinate form 3 4 minus 2 back to the paper and pen so c 3 4 minus 2 meaning that the vector oc will be 3i plus 4j minus 2k now that I know OA, OB and OC, let's work out these vectors AB as well as AC. So firstly, AB. Vector AB. To work out the vector AB, here's my trick. We need to calculate O of the second vector, or the second letter in this vector. So the second letter is B, so it's OB, minus in the middle, and it's O of the first letter, which is A. So that's my trick to work out um, any vector where, where it's A, B, B, C, G, H, and so on and so on. So let me recap. So it's O of the second letter, which is B, minus in the middle, O of the first letter, which is A. So let's use the results that we have. So for O, B, we had 2i plus 3j minus vector O, A, in this case is minus i plus 2j plus k. So if we add the like components, vector ab will be 2i, so 2i minus minus i is 3i. Adding the j components, 3j minus 2j is plus 1j. And how about the k components? I only have one minus times k minus k. So that should be the vector AB. Let's use the same process to work out the vector AC. So here's AC. Remember my trick. To work out the vector AC, it's O of the second letter, which is C, minus O of the first letter, which is A. So let's use the results. Vector AC is the vector OC that is given by this vector here. 3i plus 4j minus 2k minus the vector OA that is given by minus i plus 2j plus k. So let's simplify. Let's add the like components. So if I add the i components, 3i minus minus i is 4i. 
adding the J components, 4J minus 2J is plus 2J. How about the K components, minus 2K minus K minus 3K. So that should be the vector AC. Now, if we go back to this result, to work out the area of the triangle, it's half the modulus of the vector AB cross the vector AC. So let me show you how to work out this cross product or the vector product. So on the reverse, let me show you how to work out AB cross AC, the vector or the cross product. Now, if you're unfamiliar with the concept of calculating the vector or cross product, I have created a video explaining the concept and I'll provide the link to that video in the description below. Let me show you how this works though in this question. Now to work out the vector or the cross product, that can be found by considering the determinant of a three by three matrix. So we need to consider the determinant of a three by three matrix. The top row of this matrix are the unit vectors i, j and k. So always i, j and k, the unit vectors for the top row. Second row, these are the components of i, j and k in a, b, as a, b appears first here. So the components of i, j and k in a, b, and if we go to the reverse, are 3, 1 and minus 1. So I write down 3, 1 and minus 1. And in the last row, the third row, these are the components of i, j and k in AC. So in AC, they are 4, 2 and minus 3. So let's write them down. 4, 2 and minus 3. So when you write these down, the components, you need to write them in the order i, j, k. That's very important. Now, you can expand this 3x3 three three determinant using any row or any column. What I tend to do is I use the first row, and there are signs associated with the rows and columns. The sign associated with the first row is plus, minus, and plus. So I'm going to select the first row and expand this using that first row. So in this case, when I expand using the first row, it's plus i, so plus i, multiplied by, and you're multiplying it by the determinant of a two by two matrix. Now, the elements of this two by two matrix can be found by ignoring the row and the column associated with i. So if you ignore the row and the column associated with i, the elements of this determinant are 1 minus 1, 2 minus 3. So I'll write down 1 minus 1, 2 minus 3. And let's continue along the row. So minus j, minus j, multiplied by the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. And the elements can be found by ignoring the row and the column associated with j. So if I ignore the row and the column associated with j, the elements are 3 minus 1, 4 minus 3. So in this case, 3 minus 1, 4 minus 3. Plus k, so plus k multiplied by another 2 by 2 determinant. To find these elements of this 2 by 2 determinant, ignore the row and the column associated with k. So if I ignore the row and the column, the elements of this determinant are 3, 1, 4, 2. So 3, 1, 4, 2. So let me now show you how to expand these 2 by 2 determinants. So I multiply by, first what we do is we multiply the elements along this diagonal highlighted in red. So if you multiply these elements highlighted in red along this diagonal, 
1 times minus 3 is minus 3, always minus in the middle, and then multiply the elements along the opposing diagonal, highlighted in green. So 2 times minus 1 is minus 2, minus 2 times this minus is plus 2. Minus to J, open the brackets, remember the concept, first multiply the elements along this diagonal in red. So 3 times minus 3 is minus 9, always minus in the middle. Then multiply the elements along the opposing diagonal in green. 4 times minus 1 is minus 4, together with this minus, plus 4. Plus the K, open the bracket. Multiply the elements along this diagonal in red. So 3 times 2 is 6, minus. Then multiply the elements along the opposing diagonal in green. 4 times 1, 4. So let's continue to simplify. Minus 3 plus 2 is minus 1. Minus the J, open the brackets. Minus 9 plus 4 is minus 5. Plus the K into 6 minus 4 is 2. And if I go one more stage to simplify, minus 1 times I is minus I. Minus j times minus 5 is plus 5j, 2 times k plus 2k. So that should be the solution for the vector product of AB and AC. So that is the concept. And as I say, if you're not familiar with the concept, I will provide a, the link to the video that I've created explaining this concept along with more examples in the description below. Now we have AB cross AC, so we have this as part of the formula that we're going to apply. Now we need the modulus or the magnitude of AB cross AC. So let's continue. Let me show you how to do that. So to work out the modulus of AB cross AC, this is what we need to do. The modulus or the magnitude is a square root calculation and it's the square root of, all we do is we sum the square of the components. So we square the components and then we add. So if I square the i component, I'll have minus one squared, always plus. If I square the j component, I have a plus five squared. Again plus, if I square the k component, plus two squared. So just to recap, square the components and then add. So if we continue, we'll get the square root of minus one squared is plus one, five squared, 25, four, uh, two squared rather is four. And let me leave this as the root of 30. So that should be the solution to uh, the modulus or the magnitude of AB cross AC. Now, lastly, let's apply the formula. So in this case, the area of the triangle ABC, remember the formula, it's one over two, so it's half of the magnitude of AB cross AC. So in this case, it's one over two, and the magnitude or the modulus of AB cross AC, we had root 30. So I'm gonna leave this as root 30 divided by two. So that should be the solution to this particular question. So that completes the question, and that sadly ends this video. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did enjoy the video, a like rating is very much appreciated. Do plenty of practice exercises and I hope to see you again. Thank you.